very often what I find is that we rediscover things that we knew in some sort of metaphorical narrative sense. So, for example, uh, Eleanor Ostrom's Nobel Prize winning work on how populations can protect a commons is a rediscovery of folk wisdom that protected many commons before anybody knew anything about game theory. So um, that's very frequently the case, is that there's a good underlying explanation for why some pattern exists. Very often people don't uh, have access to it, and so they have to, well, here's an example from uh, Judeo-Christian theology. If you look up the word filth in the Bible, you'll find that the deity is pretty upset about it and he has specific rules about where filth can be and shouldn't be. And this is thousands of years before the germ theory of disease. So there's a very good reason that one should, you know, avoid having feces in camp and it has to do with microbes that we weren't even able to understand until 1859. Um, but thousands of years ahead of time, people had good advice, and it, it had to do with believing that some deity cared where it was.